Okay, hello. So today I am going to discuss certain numerical problems on infinite square well potential that we are studying in quantum mechanics. So uh, I have selected two problems for today and uh, we will continue this series hopefully and we will discuss more problems in the, uh, in the upcoming videos. So this is the question number one that the particle of mass m is confined in a two dimensional infinite square well potential of side a. So it is a uh, two dimensional infinite square well potential given in the problem. The eigen energy of the particle is given in a state as e equal 25 pi square h cross square of over m a square where a is the dimension of the box. Now uh, what we are asked is that uh, we have to find out the state is uh, this particular state in which the energy of the uh, particle of mass m is this much we have been asked to find out that whether this particular energy state is 4 fold 3 fold 2 fold or is non uh, degenerate so 3 fold de uh, degenerate 2 fold de degenerate uh, 4 fold de degenerate or non degenerate so we know that the energy expression for the energy for two dimensional uh, square well potential box is so E n x y and y is actually equal to pi square h cross square by a 2 m a square n x square plus n y square. This is the standard result that we get out of the derivation for two dimensional square by potential. And this has been given equal to 25 pi square h cross square over m a square. If we compare both the uh, relation, uh, let's say let me give the number 1 and 2. If we put 1 equal to 2, we get that nx square plus ny square is nothing but 50. So we have been uh, asked that whether this particular energy state is 2 fold, 3 fold, 4 fold degenerate or it's non degenerate altogether. So to that we will have to find out what are those pairs of nx and ny which satisfy this equation. Okay. So we can see that if we uh, see what are the allowed values of nx and ny nx and ny both are allowed from 1, 2, 3 uh, up to infinity. Okay, They are integers and uh, they start from 1, they don't start from 0 because uh, in the derivation itself we see that if we put nx equal n, nx and y 0 then the wave function minus inside the box which is not permitted. That's why uh, we take from nx and y starting from 1. Now uh, we can really see that this particular equation, equation number 3 can be satisfied with the following pairs. If I take for example nx to be uh, 7 and ny to be 1 then the uh, equation 3 will be satisfied. Similarly, if I take nx to be 1 and ny to be 7, again this uh, equation will be satisfied. And uh, uh, is there any other pair for which and uh, this is equation will be satisfied? Yes. The another value would be maybe when nx and y equal to 5. Then also this uh, equation will be satisfied. Uh, if we find try to find out other pairs like uh, suppose I take nx to be 1 and I fix the value of nx1 and y I start from let's say 1, uh, 2 or 3 and we can uh, gradually go up to higher values. Then we uh, end up with ny equal to 7. This equation is satisfied. Similarly, if I fix nx to be 7 and then uh, we go up of increasing the value of ny, then we find that for ny equal to 1, this is satisfied. And uh, for a particular case when nx and y both are equal, for example, then um, they have to be 5. Only these three pairs are there uh, for which the equation number 3 will be satisfied. So this particular state in which the energy of the particle is e equal to 25 pi square s cross square over m a square, it turns out to be threefold degenerate. So this question was asked um, in... Uh, uh, in, in is an Indian exam, GEM Physics 2010. Uh, this is a joint admission test to MSc conducted by Indian Institute of Technology. So, uh, B option is correct, threefold degenerate. B option. Okay, so let me start with the question two. The question number two says that the uh, Three, uh, three identical non-interacting particles, three identical non-interacting particles, each of a spin half and mass m are moving in a one-dimensional finite square well potential. 
So in finite potential well, one dimensional uh, I have drawn uh, whose side is given as A uh, because uh, potential the form of the potential is given to be 0 inside the box uh, between x between 0 to A and uh, uh, it is infinite, Vx is infinite just outside, outside the box because uh, this is given in the question x less than or equal to 0 vx is infinity and x greater than or equal to a this is again infinity. The energy of the lower energy state of the system is so we have to find out basically the ground state of the system. Now it has uh, it has been given that there are three identical non-interacting particles okay so for one dimensional potential box the energy expression goes as en equal to n square pi square h cross square over 2 m a square a is the dimension of the box and n start from 1 2 3 and so on and so forth uh, so the minimum energy uh, for a single particle would have been e1 but now there since there are three identical particles they have to be uh, in uh, arranged in such a fashion that the system has the lowest energy possible lowest possible energy so now, uh, since the identical particles are having a spin half, all of them are having a spin half, that signifies that they are actually fermions. And the fermions follow the poly exclusion principle. Poly exclusion principle, according to which, poly exclusion principle, and according to the poly exclusion principle, no two fermions can have been the same energy eigenstate unless until they are at least one quantum number is different and generally we talk about the spin at, at least their spin must be opposite so suppose this is the e1 energy level that i have drawn for this infinite potential box and this is e2 if out of three uh, two particles have to be in the e1 state then their spin have to be opposite altogether so that they can stay in the same energy state according to the poly exclusion principle because it uh, clearly says that the two fermions can be uh, in the uh, same energy state only when uh, is at least their one quantum number is different from the other. Uh, it means if all the quantum numbers are same, uh, then spin has to be opposite to each, from each other. So the minimum energy configuration then turns out to be this one. All three cannot be in, uh, cannot be in even uh, that is prohibited uh, by the poly exclusion principle and all three cannot be in E2 because that will not lead to the inverse energy. Number one, and again, it will avoid uh, the poly exclusion principle. But two can be in the lowest uh, energy possible, and one can go to the first excited state. That is the only uh, lowest energy state of the system. So, the worst energy state of the system is that uh, two particles are in the E1 state plus one goes into the E2 state. So, this makes it two into e1 is pi square h cross square over 2 m a square and e2 is 2 square pi square h cross square over 2 m a square which in turn will give us uh, 6 pi square h cross square over 2 m a square which means 3 pi square h cross square over m a square which is option c. All right, uh, this uh, question was again asked in GEM Physics 2010. Um, so that's it for today's video. Uh, I will I'll discuss more hopefully in the future uh, if I get the uh, proper response from this video. Thank you so much for your attention.